So I thought this is actually pretty funny and interesting conversation to have. And I think it's more of a general trend as well that we've seen. Um, but here's Kyle Kalinske, right? Obviously the host of Secular Talk. He sent out a tweet on Twitter. He's uh, been doing this for the people he's getting on for his Crystal Kyle and Friends podcast. And so he tweeted out, At Shuan Head, come on Crystal Kyle and Friends this week. Um, so, of course, they have a podcast to bring on guests. I actually think Shuan Head would be a pretty potential uh, interesting person to have on because of her perspective from being from the anti-SJW sphere. But do remember that Shuan Head was somebody who was hated by the left just a couple of years ago. You know, go back like two, three years ago. Um, pretty much any time before the 2020 uh, primary, essentially. Once the 2020 primary started, she kind of made this huge shift where she turned into this just full-on Bernie Tulsi supporter. Um, and prior to that, you know, there was the whole anti shaw movement that essentially ruled YouTube, pretty much. And so, you know, the people were wave riding on that. She was definitely wave riding on that. That's actually how she got her channel started, was um, talking about, you know, gender... Uh, making fun of the idea of gender oppression and stuff like that. So the anti shaw movement is really what birthed her channel in the first place. Um, but a lot of people felt like she was a right-wing tool because she would make fun of uh, liberals and Democrats but never make fun of Republicans. Um, some concerns that people had was her friendship that she pretty fiercely defended for a long time with Lauren Southern, remember the great replacement theory lady, um, you know, also said that Leslie Jones looked like an ape. There was just, there was a lot of, ba of bad stuff. Um, but it appears that Kyle got some backlash on his tweet. Here's one tweet. It says, is it me or is Kyle moving more mainstream? Hard to watch most of his videos these days. Five to one ratio on bad conservatives to bad liberal videos, but I get it. There's a lot of money in it for him for not talk, not attacking bad Dems, but seriously hard to watch. Um... Were Milo and Baked Alaska not available? Gross. Um, <laughs> just three grifters all on one program. What a treat. So the term grifter is getting thrown around a lot. I do think we have to be a little bit more careful with the term. Um, but, you know, a lot of people, there's a pretty big chunk of people right now that hate Crystal Ball. And honestly, it's hard to blame them. Um, I could definitely see why, because Crystal Ball to me, does kind of seem to be somebody who is just kind of, uh, you know, liberals are obviously bad, right? And it's important to nonstop point that out. But often the ways that she will uh, do that is very lazy thinking and just uh, really cringe defenses of conservatives at times. Like that whole thing where she downplayed uh, the idea of, you know, a coup attempt by Trump and all that stuff. So she does a lot of that stuff. So a lot of people call Crystal Ball a grifter. Um, but it's a, a gen obviously Kyle's not even, never even close to a grifter, but it, you know, the question about shoe on head is pretty interesting. I think the question is, you know, is it genuine? Is she just wave riding? Because you have to remember, this is something she jumped on when the anti shaw uh, sphere was dead. That whole movement, that wave was gone. It was over. It was done. Um, and when you look at all of the anti shaw channels, Chris Reagan, some black guy, all these people, you know, they also kind of started to shift. Obviously, TJ Kirk went full left wing. Like, I think he's like a, he's at this point, I think maybe even a socialist or something like that. So, you know, a lot of them seem to take that leftward turn. Chris Reagan um, actually was against Trump in the general election, which he was agnostic in the previous 2016 election. So, you know, they took a lot of that turn. Uh, the question is, you know, with this, is it wave riding? It's a, gen it's a really good question, honestly. I think it's very debatable. Uh, this tweet says, good thing you announced it. Otherwise, half of left Twitter wouldn't know because they're blocked. So that's referencing Shuan Head, I guess, blocking everybody on Twitter pretty much. Um, you know, this one says, don't do it, Kyle, if you and Crystal want to maintain your brand. So alleging here, that's the allegation that... Uh, Kyle Kalinske and Crystal Ball's brands will be damaged by having, uh, you know, having shoe on there. This one says, will you ask her about her friendship with Lauren Southern, a literal white nationalist? Um, yeah, so, you know, that's that's definitely one of the things that people don't like. This person linked the video of shoe on head saying, you know, saying that Leslie Jones looks like a gorilla. <sighs> this one says you both lost any credibility you had left. Congrats on putting views over the feelings of marginalized leftists. You're the worst. Um, you know, 
Here's an interesting one. Even though I follow the show on Twitter not so long ago, I still can't tell if she's being genuine or not. I know she had like a right-wing past or something, but for me, she looks genuine. I hope she's not like a Dave Rubin or Candace Owens type. So it's definitely a question. I don't think it's as clean-cut as being necessarily disingenuous. Um, it's not so much that I necessarily think that she's being disingenuous. I think it's more of a kind of opportunist move um, more than anything else, which is kind of different. You know, you're starting to classify different kinds of, I guess, uh, you know, potential grifters or whatever. But I wouldn't, you know, I think it's more a question of, okay, I'm not necessarily questioning whether she believes those ideas or not, but rather whether or not she's doing what she's doing because of an opportunistic ability or an opportunity that existed and a lack of opportunity for the anti hw stuff because that whole thing kind of, you know, died out. This one says, not bull vortex. <laughs> interesting, interesting comment. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a bunch of people. This one says, can someone tell me what she's known for? Honest question. This one says being a crypto fascist. The crypto fascist is uh, Sagar and Jetty, basically. It's somebody who's a fascist but keeps it on the DL and is essentially trying to slowly pull you in into fascism without being upfront about it. You know, giving you little hints of stuff and eventually uh, basically converting you into that field pretty much. Um, so, you know, th those are pretty much the main ones here. Uh, there might be some more. I don't know why it is that there were so many so many negative comments um <laughs> on the tweet i'm not really sure why there were so many negative comments this time i don't know if some yeah it just seems uh improbable i'm not really sure but the question about you on head in terms of okay <clears throat> you know is she genuine is she not genuine i think it's interesting to look at and i had a vi i have a video in the making um looking at the anti hw youtubers and where they are now and it appears that with a few exceptions, especially the ones who were like really on the far right already, they were kind of like, you know, I'm talking about people who are really considered the anti SUW YouTubers. So, Shuan Head, Armored Skeptic, TJ Kirk, um, you know, Chris Raygun, these kinds of people, right? Uh, you kind of saw a trend where they started to tick more towards the left or towards being liberal kind of thing so it was interesting to see you know tj kirk made his turn chris reagan supported trump in the general so um it, you know i would definitely say it's a it's a valid question in terms of genuineness but i think most people have already accepted that she's legit and she's basically in the progressive sphere and all that stuff but i would definitely no doubt say it would be an interesting guest on crystal and kyle and friends given that they ask um interesting questions if they have interesting questions whether, you know, definitely would have to be about her past, obviously, about the anti shw stuff. Maybe some insight on what that phase was like, her motives at the time. I know that TJ Kirk in an interview talked about how, you know, he started to kind of get disgusted with himself that he was making those, uh, you know, answers for, you know, black people videos where he's answering BuzzFeed video questions. And it was clear it was attracting a right-wing audience. And he was like, he, eventually he's like, okay, this is... I can't do this anymore because this isn't what I want to do. It's disgusting. Um, it would definitely be interesting just to see a reflection on that period of time. But this is a forum. You know, I definitely want to hear uh, what you have to say about this because um, definitely seems to be a pretty heated debate, right? So let me know your thoughts.